A royal biographer has claimed that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's fractured public image is down to their contrasting life outlooks. Journalist Penny Jenner, 69, said that the fundamental truth about the couple is that they are trying to be different figures. Speaking to The Times, Penny said, Harry has spent his whole life trying to be normal, trying to be one of us. She has spent her whole life trying to be a superstar, and to stop being normal. The royal biographer said that although on paper they are fantastic, that this year things have gone really wrong for them. She said that while everyone used to love them, now people are just disappointed. Penny said that their public image started to become negative around the time of Archie's birth. She pointed out that by withholding information, like the name of the hospital where Meghan gave birth to Archie, they were not playing the game. The publication also quoted a source saying it was wrong for Meghan and Prince Harry to keep the names of the godparents private too. The source said, it is ludicrous. The moral mentors of an heir to the throne should be a matter of public record. Penny added that it didn't help the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that the backlash came as it emerged that they had spent pound 2.4 million of the taxpayers' money renovating Frogmore Cottage. However, she also said that it wasn't too late for the couple to win back public favor. She said that they have everything going for them and if they act more like royal family members instead of A-list celebrities, they can turn it around. This comes as the couple are set to embark on their 10-day royal tour to Southern Africa with Archie. A royal expert recently claimed the pair know the trip needs to sway public opinion on them. Harry has spent his whole life trying to be normal, trying to be one of us. She has spent her whole life trying to be a superstar, and to stop being normal. They are set to embark on their first royal tour as a family on Monday for 10 days of public engagements. A royal expert has now claimed the pair know the trip needs to sway public opinion on them. The source told Vanity Fair, they and their aides know this tour has to be a success, and everything has been planned meticulously so there is no margin for error. Royal author Ingrid Seward has also spoken out, believing five-month-old Archie may get a thrust into the spotlight as the couple try to claw back some of their popularity. The tot hasn't yet officially been seen in public since Harry and Meghan first showed him off to the world after he was born in Windsor in May. Ingrid said, people will want to see baby Archie who could be the key player in this. I think if they show as a glimpse of Archie it could turn things around for the Sussexes. It's a small thing but it could end up being a very big thing in terms of better press coverage. They've had a tough run, this is a chance to make it better. Prince Harry has been raised in the public eye, while Meghan Markle has been accustomed to being a subject of curiosity and interest since she rose to fame as an actress. But according to a royal biographer, these royals disagree with the kinds of lives they want. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are both accustomed to living their life in the spotlight, Prince Harry having been born into the royal family and Meghan Markle having become famous when she landed the role of Rachel Zane on the US hit legal drama Suits. Royal biographer Penny Jr. claims Prince Harry has spent his whole life trying to be normal but Meghan Markle wants to be a superstar, meaning the couple are trying to be different figures. But why do they disagree about the positions in society they want to hold? Royal biographer and journalist Penny Jr. said that the fundamental truth about the couple is that they are trying to be different figures. Speaking to The Times, Ems Jr. said, Harry has spent his whole life trying to be normal, trying to be one of us. She has spent her whole life trying to be a superstar, and to stop being normal. The 69-year-old journalist said this could spell out problems for the couple. When the private jet scandal hit the headlines, royal biographer Angela Levin said the action by the couple had led them to cross the celebrity line. Ms. Levin told the Daily Telegraph, There is no doubt that their intentions are good, but the optics, of late, have been unfortunate. She added that, that the Sussexes need to sort out what kind of royals they want to be, as they are currently portraying an increasingly confused persona. She said, while their own relationship seems hunky-dory, the type of royal role they want to pursue appears increasingly confused, dutiful public servants or globetrotting celebrity A-listers. Ms. Jr. agrees, saying that although the couple is great on paper they are fantastic, 
This year things have gone really wrong for them which led to members of the public feeling disappointed in the couple. The Sussex couple have had a number of well-publicized struggles this year. The first of which was when the royal finances were published showing the Sussex couple spent pound 2.4 million of taxpayer money on renovating Frogmore Cottage. The couple once again aggrieved the public when they banned the media, and therefore the public, from baby Archie Harris in Mount Baden Windsor's christening, contradicting the precedent set by Prince William and Kate Middleton which allowed cameras to see the royal family walk to the chapel before the christening took place. Recently, Meghan and Harry came under fire for using four private jets in 11 days, despite championing several environmental causes and promoting action against climate change. When it comes to baby Archie, the couple have been adamant they want to raise him with as normal an upbringing as possible. This has led to many examples when the public have been excluded from personal details relating to the infant royal which has upset some members of the public. However, Ems Jr. said that all was not lost and the couple could regain the popularity they wanted. She told The Times, they have got everything going for them. If they just started behaving like members of the royal family and not like Hollywood A-listers, they can turn it around. One royal expert has claimed the Sussex family's first royal tour of Southern Africa is likely to be a prime opportunity to sway public opinion. The source told Vanity Fair, they and their aides know this tour has to be a success, and everything has been planned meticulously so there is no margin for error.